Hey y'all, hey. welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another set of Disney vlogs. We are at the airport right now. We are getting ready to board the plane. We've got all our stuff checked and we're just hanging out. Waiting to head to Disney for Shepard's sixth trip to Disney World. <laughs> Exciting thing about this trip is my mom, Honey, y'all used to lolly coming. Honey's with us this time. My best friends here. Jared's best friends here. They're husband and wife, so that's convenient. They're little ones. They've got two little girls are here to play with Shepard. So we're so excited. This is like our first friend trip, and this is our first time to go on vacation with our best friends. So we're really excited. So that is something new that we've got done. We've gone on big family trips. We've gone on trips with friends at Disney. Like we've met up with friends at Disney, but we've never been from our home friends on a friend trip, so we're really excited. Shepard's excited too, because he has a buddy. This is my best friend Hannah, and that's her little girl Addie. Hello, honey, and there's Nick and Ava. I'm attacking. Hi. This is stars. So this is how today's going so far. <laughs> so this is Addie, and this is Shepard's best friend. Addie, are you and Shepard best friends? Oh, uh, well. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> And cheese. Bye. Bye. Please. Oh. Bye. Uh, bye. Wow. We just checked in and we just got into our room at the newly renovated Grand Floridian Studio, not villas, studio rooms. Something like that. They're not a villa, but they are basically, a, they're in between a regular resort room and a villa. There's four of us, and we're all gonna be jam-packed into this room, but it's so beautiful, and this is our first time to be in one of the renovated ones, and it's 
stunning. It is so, so pretty. Let's start with this mirror. Jeez, that is a beautiful mirror. So all of our stuff is already in, so you just have to ignore it, but they've renovated the floor, they've renovated the wall color, the beds, every single thing, the artwork, the wallpaper, everything about these rooms is brand new. I think except for the bathtub. You walk in and you've got your double sink bathroom with plenty of counter space. If you're a mama with a toddler or dad with a toddler, you will appreciate that these rooms still have a bathtub. So you have this little foyer here with a little desk. This beautiful like arch that is so pretty. And you've got your little nook here and you've got a whole drawer. Jared's so excited of coffee. <laughs> and I think this is just a cooler, like not really to be used as a refrigerator, but it's just a cooler. You've got a microwave, one of the newer Keurigs, and then these are the new beds. Shepard's breaking it in. Is that fun? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Do you love it, Shep? Oh. They used to have closets and they've kind of done with that to add a little bit more space. And they've added in this for storage. And lights come on automatically. This one doesn't do that though. This one's where your safe is. Tons and tons of storage. Goodness, that's great. And then on top of all that, you've got four huge drawers. So plenty of storage. She's excited about the night lights. <laughs> it does not feel like we're gonna be cramped. There's four of us in here, three adults and a toddler. Just the toddler alone in a room by himself has enough stuff to make you feel like you need more space. But there's all this and there's plenty of room. This also pulls out to be a bed. It pulls out flat so you, you can sleep plenty of people in here and we have a seven seas lagoon view it is so beautiful i checked and there's pretty much none of the resorts facing this way because that can see the fireworks view from these specific rooms we're in building nine you can see wilderness lodge over there which is our favorite resort we have a great view of the poly so pretty obsessed absolutely obsessed last time we had a view of the monorail and that was really cool too all right y'all well, we're here we've made it our vacation officially starts we're all starving <laughs> shepherd's like Shepherd needs a nap 10 million hours past nap time daddy, daddy. well that little mary poppins accent it's all mary poppins things it's but so subtly like look at her Come on. the lights look at these lights so the lights in the chandelier are little birds and they're all different well not all of them but that oh they're not oh my gosh jared look they're all birds and there's one hidden penguin they're all birds yeah. and there's a hidden penguin, a penguin. <laughs> from mary poppins yes that is wow. so clever <laughs> shepherd's excited how many one two three four Trevor's living his best Stop life because he's in a stage where he's obsessed with ducks um, and you can see all kinds of ducks outside of our window and he's like really into Donald specifically because he's a duck but he's having a hard time right now because we need to go get something to eat so we are about to run down to Gasparilla Grill and grab something to eat because we are all starving it is 519 and we have not eaten today since maybe like seven or eight so we're all pretty hungry, so we're gonna run to our food court. Okay. And hopefully, get something good to eat. So I got their flatbread pizza. I was kind of bummed that they don't have like the pizza that's at Pop Century because that's like I swear, it's like the quintessential Disney pizza. It's so so good. But I did get the cheese flatbread and it's really good and it tastes super fresh. Jared got a burger. And Honey got some tomato soup and grilled cheese. And Shepard just got his regular mac and cheese and french fries. Hey, Daddy. Hey. Shepi, you wanna go swimming? Yeah. So we just got done eating, and then Shepard was really, really wanting to swim when we walked by the pool. And we promised him if he would eat just a few more bites of his mac and cheese, he could go swimming. Can you press one? Oh. <laughs> So Jared is gonna be a trooper and he's gonna take Shepard swimming. And I say trooper because it's actually not as cold as I expected it to be. It's supposed to get down in the 40s, but it doesn't really feel super cold right now. We're gonna take Shepard to the pool, but only Jared's gonna get in and me. <laughs> but Shepard really <laughs> is excited about it. <laughs> Hello. Um, so we're just gonna hang out at the pool for a minute. Me and mom are gonna run to the gift shop. She likes gift shopping, shopping gift shopping like i do um and she needs a magic band so we're gonna let them swim and hang out and then we're gonna go to the gift shop and get her a magic band her very first one so there's this whole area right here 
that's super shallow for littles. It's a wonderful little splash pad. It's turned off right now though. But all of this area right here, most of it, Shepherd can play in like without a life jacket, but with just, you know, supervision. But they have life jackets too. We usually bring Shepherd's puddle jumper and we actually opted out because we didn't know if we would be able to swim or not. But turns out we're gonna swim anyways. But Jared is over there just getting him a tiny little life jacket so he can play in the water. I could not even get the camera out and on fast enough before Shepherd was like in the in the water. Well, Shepard's happy. So Shepard can still touch and he's that far out. So I guess you can kind of see where it kind of gets deeper, but all of this area, this whole area, little ones, Shepard's only two can play in. Like it's, there's so much room for them to run and play in the water. So Shepard lasted a whole, how many minutes was that? Ten minutes. I don't even know if it was that long. <laughs> like five minutes in the pool because while the water is heated, like half of Jared's body has to stay out and Shepard's body stays out because he's little and the wind is blowing and it's very cold. So they are already back in the room taking a bath and we're headed into the Grand Floridian to go look at the gift shop. Oh my goodness, my heart. Oh, we missed it. They were just dancing. <gasps> And then he helped her sit in her chair. I want to be like, again, again, I just missed it. They were dancing, that sweet little couple right there. They were dancing. And he was playing the piano. It was just so magical. in a way he never falls asleep. He doesn't ever go to sleep with the TV on. Gave him a bath when he got out of the pool to warm him up. And then they came and turned Louie on and Shepard just crawled in the bed by himself one sleep and it's not like him at all. So he's super, super tired today. My mom is taking a bath and she's gonna lay down with Shepard while he's sleeping and me and Jared are gonna go walk around the resort and check it out for a little bit. I'm so sorry, the sound machine is going but I cannot turn it off because Shepard's asleep. But hope it's not too distracting. But tomorrow I will go over how we kind of set up or I might make a separate video about how we set up our hotel room and how we keep everything organized because I am crazy. I use every drawer. I bring my own storage bins. Like I've got to stay organized. But anyways, in just a little bit me and Jared are going to run and we're going to hang out downstairs. We might get on the monorail. We might, I don't know what we're going to do, but we're waiting on mom to get out of the bath and then we're going to go explore. Just mom and dad. Travel day so tiring. This is our view at night. It's so cozy and relaxing. They've got two chairs and a table and over here you can see they've got a screen. You can't really see it but they've got a screen right there and they've got chairs so you can go over there and you can watch a movie. Tonight they're watching Meet the Robinsons and Jared and Shepard would have been down there but he just like crashed. So maybe tomorrow. I think tomorrow they're playing Tangled. Well, it's parents night out already. Night one. I don't know what to do. I don't have my baby. <laughs> we are actually going to go to a park tonight. We weren't going to go to a park but since mom decided that Shepard was asleep and she would stay behind with him, she was like, I'll just go do whatever. Magic said, Kingdom okay. closes at 11 and it's 8.30. So we're going to run over and get some corn dog nuggets. And parents just hang night out. out. <laughs> so monorail's here, so taking it's advantage. Do they do a lot of Walking that way to pick it up. If we didn't accomplish anything from tonight, 
we were at least going to get her Casey's to start off with. So, well, we here we go. We very into the fireworks, and it was just like the most magical part. Like, as we were walking in, they were like... We were walking in, she so said, good. oh, Tinkerbell. Everybody's leaving. That's also a good thing. Bye. <laughs> It feels so incredibly weird right now being this carefree feeling like where we just spontaneously walked over here and was like, all right, let's get some food. Let's um, catch in the fireworks. And we don't even have a bag with us. Like nothing. I think it's like the most freeing experience I've felt in a long time. And the only reason I'm really, really like carefree is because Shepard's asleep, like where he absolutely needs to be. He's so tired. And a monorail right away. I think we could have swam faster over here though than that monorail got us. And it was like, but I'm really happy I got my The park closes at 11. It's 830. And my mom just said, enjoy it, have fun, Shepard's sound asleep. I'm like, okay. Did you do your Disney good deed for the day? Took their pictures, and I was like, Come over here. And they were like, Okay, you're like, Let me show that good castle spot. <laughs> we're like splurging. <laughs> All right, so like the only short ride we've found so far is Buzz. So Brett and I are gonna get on this. I'm sure she's gonna smoke me, but it's gonna be fun. Battle stations, aboard the flight deck for immediate launch. Brett's already getting in the zone over here. Got a look at determination. My score. Brits. Okay, our first real parent ride yeah. of the trip. Get on Chase Mountain. No, I'm going to tickle Brent. No, you're not. You want to tickle me? <laughs> I think we're going to do this, and then we're going to kind of make our way down. Get in your video real quick. Oh, you're good. That was fun. <laughs> wow. Okay. It felt um, like it'd been a while since we've done that. No, we've done it every trip. I know. It just, more, I know, but it just but feels like it. I don't know why. Feels, everything feels different right now because we don't <laughs> have a shepherd right now. It's a very, very weird feeling. Yeah, it's very weird. But I love it and I also miss him because it feels so nostalgic. That Jared and I are running around the park by ourselves again. Like no plan, no <laughs> extra but responsibilities at I the same time. I think we are going to just like end it right here though. We're yeah. gonna, we've done two rides. We've eaten a snack. We've had Casey's. We saw the last bit of the fireworks when we were coming in. So I feel like we've come and we've magic kingdom. We'll probably meander through the important on the way out, but besides that, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, we're gonna end it here for our time at Magic Kingdom. We'll probably see y'all when we get back to the resort, but we're walking out for the night. We only bought one thing. Well, I only bought it because they didn't have very many of them. And it's like the, a Mickey Mouse sweatshirt. And I live in sweatshirts. <laughs> three of mine are like, seriously, yeah, like three of my favorite things that no, have ever been in my entire wardrobe. None of us anymore. <laughs> We've Mine got, Every one of my fits. Not me. <laughs> Anyways, but we love the Mickey, we love the Disney sweatshirts. We live in them, so we haven't seen a new one that we love in They hold up forever. A long time, yeah, they lasted us forever, but we're headed out of Magic Kingdom now, and we are gonna head back to the Grand Floridian. Hopefully, Shepard's still asleep. <laughs> also, I did get some popcorn, and I flattened it. <laughs> Turns out it makes a really good fan. I mean, I don't need it right now, but I was just, you know. So they if you need out. a fan, get you some popcorn, eat you a snack. And then cool yourself down. <laughs> hey, who knew? Hey y'all, this is probably the absolute worst lighting in the entire world. But we're back in the room and I we always forget to end vlogs. And I'm gonna try really hard to make sure we end every single vlog from this trip. Whether it be weird or awkward or from the bathroom in our hotel. So we're back and I'm in the bathroom. I'm about to take my makeup off with a makeup eraser. If you don't know about makeup erasers, you should definitely look them up. They're amazing. We were walking back. We were literally 
five seconds from our building at, at the Grand Floridian. My mom called us. When I answered, Trevor was screaming, like nightmare screaming. She said, he's awake and he's screaming. And so he walked in and he was just screaming, home, home, home. And I was like, oh my gosh, do you want to go home? And he was like, yes. And I'm like, oh, we can't go home, baby. We're here. And he just like kept on and on. He wanted to go home. He wanted to go home. He wanted to go home. And he's still crying that he wants to go home. And I don't know what to do. And it's making me feel horrible because I literally cannot take him home. And I don't know about you, but I've suffered from homesickness my whole life. And I feel it so deeply. And there's not many more feelings that are just more icky than feeling homesick. It's very hard to snap yourself out of it. I didn't know a two-year-old could feel homesick. And he's literally like having a, a hard night because he's so homesick. This is new and this is how our night's ending. Just to keep it real, it's not all hunky-dory. My two-year-old's having a meltdown in there because he wants to leave Disney. <laughs> he hadn't even been to the park yet. Anyways, but this is just something new for us. I thought wherever me and his daddy were, that was good enough. Apparently not, he wants to go to his house. <laughs> Let's go home. Anyways, that's how it's ending. I'm just gonna take my makeup off and get in bed and try to just cuddle him. And we're gonna watch Cars and Winnie the Pooh and Bluey and all of his favorite things. And we need to try to get in bed because we have a reservation in the morning with Winnie the Pooh. He's just crying, oh my goodness. Anyways, it's our first character meal of the trip and um, he's never really gotten, he's gotten to meet Pooh, but he never got to like hug him and stuff like that. So I really want him to enjoy tomorrow. So hopefully we can get him in bed, get some rest. I can get this makeup off. <laughs> Anyways, I've just been rambling. I'm sorry. I'm just kind of like, you're my people. Like you are who I'm talking to about. I've been crying for at least the last 10 minutes because I'm so heartbroken that Shepard is so homesick. And I don't know how to fix it. And I don't know how to deal with it. I know how awful it feels to be homesick. And I'm sad that my two-year-old is so upset because he's so homesick. Anyway, so thanks for listening to me. Um, I hope that this is just because maybe he doesn't feel good. Maybe he hasn't had a good nap. Maybe he hasn't eaten good today. Just hopefully tomorrow's a reset and he doesn't feel like this our whole trip. So anyways, I wish that you were watching this right now so I could be like, please pray for it to go away quickly or pray for Shepard, so. <sighs> Anyways, we're gonna go to bed. Thank y'all so much for watching our travel day. It was definitely different than a lot of our other ones. Um, we love you and we will see you in our next one. I'm gonna go hug my baby.